How's it going? Today we're going to take a look at a deck profile for the Digibattle card game, um, featuring Lusamon as our primary uh, Digimon here. This is a card made, um, it's a fan card, but it's made from a translation of a Hyper Coliseum card, along with a couple others. And this deck does some very strange stuff uh, compared to other decks that exist uh, within the game, especially that we got in the US. Um, one of the things that we talked about in some of the other profiles is the number of um, Digimon you should have in a deck, and just the certain like staples and things like that, and this deck kind of flips all that on its head. Um, that I made that getting good at building decks for Digimon video, and this just kind of breaks those rules too. So it took a little while to come up with exactly what I wanted this deck to do, but it uh, we really got there, and I'm, I'm happy with it, and it's been doing quite well. Let's just dig right in. Um, for our rookie Digimon here, uh, we've got Lusamon. Um, he stays on the dual zone until replaced with another rookie card, so he doesn't go away unless you put a different rookie on him. It's kind of the case for all of them, but it just means your opponent can't switch you out of him. Uh, his special effect is no option card effects apply to this card, even your own, uh, which is, you know, both good and bad. It means no option cards at all can affect him, whether it's your opponent trying to hurt him with some card or you being able to buff him with some kind of stat. Uh, good and bad, but it definitely keeps you safe from a lot of uh, the tricky stuff your opponent can play. Additionally, though, when we look at his powers, we got 300, 480, and 470 on a rookie. Um, this is a huge, huge power. Uh, combined, that's a total of 1250. And if we take a look at the uh, Digimon cards player's handbook here, the, the Bible of this game, if you will, there's a section in here where we can break down the total power of individual Digimon. There are 13 of them total in the entire game that are stronger than him. And every one of them is a mega. Um, you can't read much of this from where you're at, but there are 13 Digimon cards that exist that are stronger than this card uh, by default. So the benefit that we get from this is that, well, every single, uh, uh, that was my bookmark, it's not a card in the deck. There's just about nothing that's going to beat him in, an, in just a one-on-one -on -one fight, which is great because you can't buff your stats. Uh, your opponent can't debuff your stats. You're kind of just right where you're at. Your opponent could buff themselves to try to get over you, but again, they've got to go up a lot. He's every single card that is stronger than him, the 13 that do exist, are all megas, they're all multiple levels above him. And likely, in most decks, your opponent won't be able to stay on a mega very long, so even if they do get there, it's going to be hard to, uh, to keep up with this guy. That being said, though, we don't want to stay on rookie forever. No deck does. So, this deck gets to do something fun, skips directly to the mega level, it skips champion and ultimate entirely. If you have Lusamon in play and a Digivice, yellow, uh, you can Digivolve Lusamon into Lusamon Chaos Mode. Um, this card's power here, 550, 500, and 350. Again, just stacking those uh, powers up, just getting even bigger. When you Digivolve to this level, you immediately get 300 points. That's 300 of the 10, you know, of the thousand that you need. Uh, just about a third of the way there, just by going to the second card in your deck. Uh, Chaos Mode is a, is a great level, but the fun thing that this deck has is Lusamon Satan Mode. Uh, 650, 600, and 450. His powers are just massive, and you get another 300 points when you go to this level. So just starting on your main Lusamon level, you play one Digivice to go to this level, score 300 points. This one, to Digivolve into this, you just have to have a Lusamon Chaos Mode in play, and your opponent has to have an ultimate or higher. So you're gonna, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna sit on this level for a while, probably primarily this level, um, because its stats are just so big, your opponent's not gonna, they're gonna have a hard time keeping up with this one. But if you do make it to this level, your powers just get massive. You immediately score another 300 points, which in the few games that I have played with this deck already, I've won just by turning into this form. Um, it's crazy how quickly uh, you can level through that. And you don't need a ditch vice. So technically you wouldn't really even need to run that much as far as Digivolve support, you just need to make sure you get that yellow Digivice and have it in your hand. Now, as weird as it may sound, that's literally it for Digimon that we run in this deck. We only run these three. I know that seems crazy, but if you were to get to this level and your opponent somehow beats it, you can just go back here until you cycle through your deck. You don't have any more forms, but again, 
Not very often that they're just going to beat Lusamon by himself. So, unfortunately then, that means we have to figure out another 27 cards for the deck. Which is a, a bit of a struggle for the Digital Battle card game, to be honest. Uh, if we get started, um, we're just gonna, we've got four Digivolve cards here. Uh, it's probably more than you would actually need, but you just want to make sure you see it. We've got a yellow Digivice, which we need to Digivolve. We've got green yellow, which just counts as another instance of a yellow Digivice. And red yellow, again, just another instance of a Digivice. Finally, Ultra Digivice. This is a uh, French card um, from the French uh, uh, Mega Set, or the French Starter Set. And its effect is that it just lets you digivolve regardless of what a requirement is. So it just it's a fourth yellow device for this deck. Get those out of the way. You really only ever need to see one of those. So they're a little redundant, but finding good cards to kind of flesh out the rest of a list is hard when you only have three Digimon. We do have our staple three Force Effects cards. Every deck will run these. I've told you that every single time I've made one of these videos. This changes your power to red changes your power to yellow, changes your power to green. Just great to have uh, if your opponent's a yellow and you just need to beat him, then switches you up. And very, very powerful cards. You should have these in every deck. I'm going to say it every single time. Great, great staple cards. Then we get into some of the buffs the deck runs, um, just because you do need to make sure you win you're winning fights, especially with so few Digimon. We've got an evil chip here. Um, this is a card uh, translated uh, from the uh, Swedish set. Uh, sorry, I think this one's actually a French set. I apologize. But again, translated English. Uh, this adds 200 points to your Digimon power if you're a virus type. You are a vaccine on your rookie form, but you can't use option cards on them anyway. After that, virus, virus. So both of these powers are going to let you add 200 to any of their power. Just massive. It's huge. We've also got Chip Booster triple the points indicated at the bottom of your Digimon card. If your score is between 400 and 600, um, that, that's a comma there, sorry. It, triple the points indicated at the bottom of your Digimon card if your score is between 400 and 600. So not the power of your Digimon, but the, the score themselves here. Every time you defeat one of your opponent's Digimon, you score this many points based on their uh, what level they were at. And once you reach 1,000, you win. As we were talking about with, with these guys gaining you know, 300, 300 by themselves, that's 600. If you get a kill with this card, they, you know, get 100 points. Digivolve to this, score 300, that automatically puts you at 400, which is going to get you Chip Booster. Once that happens, triple the points indicated at the bottom of your Digimon card. So say he wins a fight then, uh, sorry, lose him on Chaos Mode. When you evolve to him, you, so turn one, play this, your opponent, uh, you fight your opponent, you win, you get 100 points. Turn two, Digivolve into this immediately at 400. Play this to triple your points at the bottom. Defeat whatever your opponent's playing. You're going to score 100 points, rookie your champion. Then score 300 instead. That's going to put you at 700 by itself. You sit here. If your opponent does manage to make it up, Digivolve to Saint mode, you're already at 1,000. But these four cards here, just playing them wins you the game. It's crazy. We've also got Black Gears. Again, staple card. Just add 100 points to your power. Crest of Reliability, Crest of Friendship, Crest of Courage, Crest of Sincerity, and Metal Attack. Every single one of these just adds 50 points to your power. Uh, they don't really do anything else uh, for you unless you have uh, Crest Tag in play. You're not going to run Crest Tag. Each one of these is just five instances of gain 50 points to your power. Sometimes 50 points is all the difference it takes. We've also got Revenge. This is another new uh, card here, translated to English. If you lost the previous duel, Use this card to take your Digimon back from the offline area for a return match. Um, this is a little bit of a kind of ambiguous text, as this game is f famous for. Um, essentially what it means is if you do lose the duel, instead of anything happening to uh, either of the Digimon, they just come back into play with exactly where you were at before, with the same two cards you, you know, the same card you had, the same card your opponent has, and you, you play another fight with the same characters. Um, to use this card, send the rest of the cards from your hand offline. This does hurt, but there are some times where you really want to, like, you've made it to Satan mode and you don't want to go past that. You just want to, for some reason, they've managed to beat you, double their power or something. Uh, this is a great way to just say, no, I'm going to just discard my hand and try to stay here as long as I can. Resurrection, 
another card uh, translated to English with a slightly strange translation, but it is again, just kind of a direct translation. Uh, you may remove two cards from your offline area to use this card, send two cards from your hand offline. Essentially what it does is it chooses two cards in your offline area, you put them back into your deck, then you take two cards from your hand and put them offline. Uh, it essentially just helps you cycle cards from your discard pile back into your deck at the cost of some cards from your hand. Very powerful. Um, when you uh, run out of cards in your deck in this game, you have to go back down to your rookie form. So getting to sort of refill your deck uh, just means you don't plus, but you also don't nag when you draw more cards for turn. And speaking of that, because we have so few levels and we can just sit on Mega forever, um, you know, turn two, you're just sitting on your Mega already, assuming you have an, an opening hand. Uh, that's, you just get to sit at this level for so much longer than an opponent normally gets to stay at their Mega form. And because of that, you just have so much advantage throughout the whole course of the game. We've also got Secret Crush, another translated card here. You exchange any card from your hand for the top card of your online deck. Uh, if you got a bad card in hand, you got, you know, your third or fourth Digivice and you don't need it, put it on top of your deck, draw yourself a new card. Or, well, draw a card, then put it on top of the deck. Don't want to draw the same card, of course. Uh, we've got Resist Downgrade, another translated card here. Play when your online deck is exhausted. And like we were just talking about, run out of cards, you Digivolve down. This card, when your deck is exhausted, your Jamon stays at the same level without downgrading to Rookie. To use this card, though, you send 10 cards offline from the replenished online deck. So, just means you get a second cycle through the deck to stay at your Mega form, but the deck is immediately 10 cards smaller than normal, so you won't stay there very long, but this is a nice card, and it's nice because once you play it, you can maybe get it back and do it again. Downgrade. Uh, downgrade your champion or your opponent's champion to rookie. Play this card on the power court and send either your champion or your opponent's champion offline. Use this card to send one card from your hand. This effect applies to any player's Digimon. Uh, really, really powerful card, especially because you don't have a champion in this game. Um, so if you're just... Uh, you can't use it while you're a rookie, but if you get out of Mega and then your opponent tries to go to champion, you can say, nope, you're not going to do that, and you just keep crushing their rookie. Um, there's a foil version of this card um, that you could run that digivolves their ultimate down to a champion. Uh, that's a pretty good effect as well. And uh, is particularly fun if they go to ultimate, you go to this, and then you digivolve them down. Uh, that's really, really strong too. If you can get the foil of this, run that. Uh, power freeze. Void any digivolve or force effects card. Send it offline. Again, we've talked about this card before. Staple, just counter a card. Any card your opponent plays, you just reveal this one and it's blank. They try to play this. Uh, I'm going to switch to green. No, you're not. Very, very powerful card. Similarly, Option Eater. Void any opponent's Power Blast or Force Effects card. Uh, this one is Digivolve or Force Effects. This is Power Blast or Force Effects. So the Digivolve one's really frustrating when they're trying to turn into a new level. And you're just like, nope, you're staying where you're at. But this one, being able to stop any of these cards is really, really strong too. Both of these together should go in everything. Even Steven, stop the duel, flat. All cards remain on the duel zone. All power options go offline. No points are scored. This is a card that you just, once you draw it, you just hold it and wait till that turn where you're just like, ooh, not going to make it, not going to survive. Set it down. Try again. Pluck. When confronting an opponent with a special ability Fly, you immediately get 200 points. So talking about, you know, the level like we had before, going from Lusamon, scoring, you know, probably a kill on turn one, going into this, going to 400, immediately going to 600. Still, from 600, you're able to get, you're still able to get a uh, evil chip, or chip booster to go off, because you're at a point, your score has between, between 400 and 600, so this will still let you do it, and then the 600 would go to 900. And then all you have to do is get one more kill of any type, and you win the game without even having to go to Satan mode. So again, they, there's just so many options to get to your 10, and to get to your 1,000, and it, it happens so quickly. Blitz, if you do lose the duel, just send uh, the top three cards of your opponent's deck offline. Just gets them closer to, to leveling down if for some reason they manage to beat you. Did you duel? If you win the duel, double your score. To use this card, send three of your cards offline. Um, you may only use one of these cards per duel. Do not use this card with a rookie, so you have to. You can't use it on your main form, but you could in any way. Uh, this card can't be used after uh, an opponent passes. 
So um, that, you know, happens sometimes where there's like, pass, I don't want to play an option card. You can't just like play this despite them. Um, it has to be in response to playing another card. But uh, a nice thing is if you do get to play the card that's going to triple your score, and then this doubles the, the tripled score, uh, that's huge. Just score 600 points off a single win. And finally, counterattack. When confronting an opponent of a higher Digivolve level, double the number of your Digivolve or Digimon power until the end of turn. Um, this card, uh, unfortunately, really doesn't do much of anything for the deck. There's just not really enough options. Otherwise, there's a couple of like, there's like the green pill, red pill kind of cards that give you like, I think it's 10 Digivolve points or something like that. It's tough. With this few Digimon, there really aren't a great number of extra cards, so you do run into like, well, we have to have a 30th card. But, with the options you have where you've got the card to shuffle some card, or play the card from your hand back on top of your deck, to get a card from your deck, you could just get immediately pitch this. You can immediately put the Digivices you don't need back on top of the deck. You've just got a few options as far as trying to mold your hand a little bit better. The thing that makes this deck function so well, and I've just beat a dead horse about it, is that with a, with three Digimon, you, you sit on Lusamon, and unlike most decks, if you don't ever see one of these, if this is your like 29th and 30th card for some terrible luck, it doesn't feel bad to be on this level. Uh, this level is great. I mean, granted, you'd have to get 10 individual wins to, to do anything, but eh. The nice thing about that is you would keep your hand full. Um, your deck doesn't necessarily go anywhere, and you just kind of ride that out. Uh, but if you do manage to get to lose them on, if you get this in your opening hand, you set this down, and then you just don't play, you probably don't need an option card, to be honest, for most of the rest of the game. Um, but if you do, you've just got a ton of buff options, a ton of kind of control options to stop your opponent from playing any cards against you. And... If Satan mode comes out, well, it's probably game on the spot. But if it does manage to, uh, if they do have to fight it, good luck. Nothing, nothing's getting through this. Not without some kind of huge support, which you can play support on your own now. Thanks for checking the deck out. Uh, it's a, it's a blast, um, and uh, these guys, it, it makes sense. I mean, obviously they're from later series uh with the hyper coliseum cards being uh much they release much much longer than the cards that we got and you can totally tell each one of these is just dramatically stronger than the cards that we would have had here um so this deck just feels uh really really powerful to play but it's really fun because it's weird to see this few digimon in a deck you know even the lowest i've ever wanted to go before was with the uh demi devamon deck at nine and that still feels like too few. Three was just crazy, and it took me a really long time to, to figure out I don't actually need any other Digimon. I thought about trying to run some other rookies in here um, and see if I could just kind of get past that. I thought about doing Vmon and, like, the Digi Egg of Courage to go into... Um, or the Digi Egg of Miracles to go into Magnamon just because his effect is so good. And, like, that's just five Digimon in the deck. That I don't think is a terrible idea, but there's never a time where you would want to play as Vmon over Lusamon. Um, and since you can just stay as Lusamon forever, I don't really find a reason to play another Digimon in the deck. But, uh, let me know what you think if you, uh, if you check this video out. I know it's got some cards in it that you physically couldn't just get on your own, uh, like the Lusabons here. But the English translated cards are all um, cards that did come from the uh, French and Swedish set, just translated into English. So you could play the the foreign versions if you were to just pick those up. And then these you could you know you could technically get as well. I got these from uh, Jasper and Mook on the Digital Battle Card Game group. Um, he's willing to make more of them, of course. I had them professionally printed into nice. Uh, full, you know, cards. The quality is fantastic, and his work on making these is incredible. But even if you just printed them, they'd be they'd be a blast to play. He made two, you know, 200 cards total, I think, or 300. He, he did a ton of work making cards for this, translated over from uh, the Japanese game that have really, really, really amped up what the game can do. Check it out. Uh, give the Facebook group a visit, and check out his... Uh, 
his releases and uh, if you get a chance make the get you know get some of them printed yourself try this deck out it's super fun until next time